Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of General Geekery for 2024. I uh, think that's probably the quickest we've done episodes in between episodes. If that makes sense. I, I, I think so, but I think what happened was we went a few months without being able to do many, and now we're like itching to do it. Yeah, so kind to play catch up because yeah, last year was was you know everywhere we say last year was a shitty year, but last year was a shitty year. So, um, yeah, the uh, and yeah, it's like we're off to a good start. So hey, you know, let's keep this going. I mean. You know, it's six days into 2024, but hey, so far, so good. And it's, we, yeah. we've got our first snow outside right now. I was going to ask if you guys had gotten snow yet. because yep, we finally it, did. Because we, um, we get little bits here and up yeah, it's, a lot. It's not a ton, but there's definitely, and it, and it stuck. Because it started falling this afternoon, and I thought slightly more than flurries. But not quite snowfall, but yeah, it's sticking now. I don't, I don't think we're supposed to get much. I think the forecast was for like five or six centimeters, which is, I mean, it was on the Canadian station. So, uh, okay. For all I know, they were full of crap because the metric system is goofy. But, um, yeah, no, it, um, it was snowing all. I I was running calls all last night and it was snowing all last night while we were running calls. So, um, well, is at least you didn't have to get out the skis to go rescue somebody. So. True, not yeah. yet, not yet. But uh, like you were saying, we're off to a good start this year. And one of the things that I'm doing is, uh, I if you find my uh, customizing page on Facebook. Uh, you will see that I am in the process of putting up display shelves on uh, actually this wall right here out in that room to display all of my loose figures. And uh, he sent me a couple pictures. Dude, I know you had a lot of toys, but holy shit. Yeah, I did not. Up on Facebook. So go take a look at, at, at my customizing page. I, and... I could not fathom how many toys that you had not opened simply because you did not have a like a, a place for them because your detolf cases they're all full of like six inch figures marvel legend stuff and so well two one of two of them one of them was full of two of them were full of four inch stuff too so but oh, yeah that's right yeah so yeah. you needed and it's those all... shelves they're like they're big shelves so yeah they're they're probably maybe four inches wide and I have them uh they're probably at least a foot wide or long and I have them 10 across and there's five rows plus the ledge and mostly full yes so. oh yeah mostly full uh I'm in the process of rearranging rearranging some stuff so some stuff's gonna get moved um and I'm getting more shelves so I think those should be showing up today uh, or tomorrow. So, uh, I'm moving, I'm moving some of those around and there'll be even more figures up going up tomorrow because I have decided to open a bunch of my carded figures. If you are a card mint on card collector, this episode will make you cry because I am going to open some very, uh, star Wars stuff. It's just going to be star Wars this episode. Uh, and probably only half of what I intend to open. Um, because he's got so many. He sent me the, he sent me a photo. He texted me a photo of the pile. And I'm like, you know, this might need to be a two part episode. Yeah. That is look at that. Figures I intend to open. They're the stuff that's not going to get opened. Um, I have like the George Lucas in the Stormtrooper outfit. That's going to stay on the card. I have the, George Lucas in the X-Wing outfit, that's going to stay on the card. I have the R2-KT, uh, that one's going to stay on the card. Um, I Anything like 
when I was working in Afghanistan, I bought like two of everything, one to open, one to keep on the card. So a lot of that stuff doesn't need to get open because there is an open one already. And I'm not just going to open it just because. So like the Macquarie, the 30th anniversary Star Wars Macquarie figures, I've got I've got doubles of most of those. So the ones that are on the card are going to stay on the card. So there is there is some stuff that's not going to get opened. Anything that's autographed, obviously, is not going to get opened because I've got a bunch of Star Wars stuff that's autographed. Um, you know, math is not my strong suit, but thinking about the 30th anniversary of Star Wars and all those figures released that year and realizing that it was a decade and a half ago is it's a little unsettling to be honest um i know but remember how much fun you and i had like going back and forth like just chatting in text about toy hunting oh yeah oh yeah that that was was back when stores had stuff as opposed to now where amazon and big bad toy store have stuff yeah um the at least at least the target here doesn't have shit so um, i turn fuck all i don't even go um, to the art anymore because the the couple walmarts that i do go to don't even have a spot for gi joe stuff and the walmart here still has five shipwrecks and five retro lady jays and nothing else and it the joe section has looked like that since thanksgiving and the star wars stuff is all black series, all peg warmers, um, all characters that come with all, almost no accessories. Um, yeah. Which they're uh, most of them are great figures, not for full price. Um, no. Um, but yeah, so you are just gonna go hog wild opening. I am Star Wars vintage collection stuff that you picked up over time. You it's been a while. Because the uh, the only request I have is to start with the Red Sith Trooper, but that was what Rise of Skywalker, which was released in twenty nineteen. I don't know when that figure came out. Rise of Skywalker. This is the Sith Trooper. There's a Sith Jet Trooper. I believe I have the Sith Jet Trooper in the pile too. I um, would imagine. I got to check. I don't honestly. I don't. Most of these I got because the figure caught my eye. I have a really had a really cool display on one wall it was a montage picture of darth vader's like the bust of darth vader but each little pixel is a scene from the uh original trilogy oh yeah 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 so it's like if somebody took a one second clip of the movie from any of the movies stuck them all together and it makes darth vader and then underneath it i have my uh my uh, Darth Vader lightsaber that I won in a customizing contest underneath it. Um, um, and then I, I had carded figures all around it. So it was more for looks than anything else. And then I had a Deltoff case next to it with my loose, fig- my loose Star Wars figures in it. But well, Deltoff cases don't hold a lot of figures, honestly. Um, yeah, they look really cool. They do. They don't have huge capacity. Um, they don't. In well, the, when you the, sent me the pictures, I zoomed in on it because I'm like, what is that red figure? I don't recognize it. But I don't I realized the Rise of Skywalker stuff. I don't I didn't realize that figure came out, although I've got a thing for the red troopers, it's awesome. But I yeah. didn't realize that it came out because I don't remember any I don't remember a lot of toys coming out for the Rise of Skywalker. So I was surprised to see that that Sith Trooper came out, and I need a Black Series version of it so I can buy so I can buy two of them. Um, not an army builder, but fuck those Red Sith Troopers, Rise of Skywalker. Say what you will about that movie, but they were fucking cool looking. Hang on a sec, I'm gonna grab a um a case to put him in so I don't lose accessories until I get him up on the wall. Oh, good call. I'm just eating dinner. These were all full a couple of days ago. 
now they are all on the wall. And uh, I've already started a list of the toys that I'm getting that I've gotten this year. So our uh, end of year list is easier to compile for acquisition. Oh, that's a good idea. So far, I've only gotten three figures, two from Ollie's that are custom fodder. And well, this guy, I got this guy yesterday. Oh, nice. So I'm um, waiting for some uh, new weapons for him. But uh, yeah, I, yeah, I got two figures from Ollie's just for parts and they're both already parts. So I don't, I don't think they really count. Um, but that's it. I haven't gotten anything else. I've gotten a couple of, uh, of um vintage gi joe guys uh i i don't i don't have the list in front of me so i don't remember who all i got so far uh night vulture is one of them his uh oh that's right did you you made a deal for his crossbow right yeah it came in the mail this morning or it was waiting for me when i got home from work this morning so yeah the red sith trooper is pretty cool uh it's basically the um the original uh, first order buck just recolored red it does have the peg hole on the right thigh for the pistol it comes with some really cool guns i love that yeah. that rifle that's fantastic um, whatever other issues the sequels have the first order troopers and all their armaments like a kick little all kinds of ass like a like a i don't even know what that is but it's it's cool looking yeah, now the weapons are fantastic looking. I I really dig them. Uh, and then his regular blaster, and then uh, the other uh, smaller blaster. So both of those peg into his leg. Uh, of course, you know my pet peeve is he comes with more equipment than he can hold. So uh, kind of um, kind of an annoyance there for me, but uh, I have an oops, I have another one of these one of these that's like twice as deep. So any figure that's on the wall that can't hold all his gear, his gear goes in this so it, it doesn't get lost. Well, as irritating as you find it that it comes with more gear than it can hold. My viewpoint is at least it comes with a lot of gear because sometimes the Star Wars line is a little light on accessories that are included. God, Sorry. that's beautiful. Yeah, it's God, a, that's beautiful. I really, I really dig this figure. Uh, that one was a hard one to get, and um, some dumbass put a sticker on the, put a label on the cart, so it was going to get opened anyway because there was. There was no value in the in the the blister, the blister was starting to come off the card anyway. So it's nice to see that Hasbro has the same problems I do that they're they can, <laughs> their blisters to stick to the cards. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Next up, uh, we have the Mandalorian. Uh, I have a bunch of the Mandalorian figures, and I have not opened any of them. So these are I'm I'm really looking forward to these because uh I am a huge fan of the Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett series. So to have a decent Mandalorian figure is gonna be uh phenomenal. Yeah, you know what when it comes to Book of Boba Fett, my attitude is fuck the haters and the critics. I enjoyed the shit out of that show. I did too. Um the only only thing that I don't like is there have not been enough vintage collection figures from those shows. Um, because I saw that this Mando you're opening, you know, the vintage collection they've all got numbers on them, and I know they're well up into the two hundreds now. What number is that Mando? Uh, I think they're trying to gauge how how long that's been in the package for. They stop number uh stop number in these. Oh, did they? Yeah, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the, the it doesn't have the regular numbers like it used to, which is kind of funny because I use that as a, an Easter egg on my custom Star Wars figures. They're all numbered. 
Uh, oh, I thought they were still numbers. Wait, you're sure? In the cross cell on the back, you're sure they don't have numbers? Oh, vintage collection, 166. Wow. Yeah, because I know something that was just released is like number 215. So, all right, yeah, you've had that for a while waiting to be opened. Yeah, absolutely. This is from probably from the first the the first season um uh, but yeah i saw that uh our uh regular guest dayton allen sith fire 30 is making the twilight from um book of boba fett right now oh garza whip yes madam garza whip played by jennifer beals who i didn't know that yeah somehow for now but somehow i don't know if that the other day as she gets older She's more beautiful than ever. Like, yeah, yeah, not just I, aging gracefully. No. She's gorgeous. Yeah. No, that's okay. And, it's just me, because I was like, man, she looks better than she did when she was younger. Yep, man. I seriously hope we see that character again, because there are all manner of ways that they can explain that she didn't meet the fate that it seems like she met, because if Darth Maul can get chopped in half, and come back. Well, God damn it, Garza Whip is out there somewhere. Damn it. Yep. So there, there is. Uh, there's the Mando. Oh, he's got the pulse rifle. All right. Yeah, definitely early first season. That's awesome. Yes, absolutely fantastic figure. It's decently articulated. Sculpting is fantastic. Paints at paint apps are top notch. I love it. Uh, let's see what we got next. Um. Oh, here's one. That uh, is going to make some people cry. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't wait. Rogue One Scarif Stormtrooper. Ooh, nice. Uh, I actually have um, the Black Series, the four inch Black Series Scarif Stormtrooper still in the box. The ones that, like, when they started making four inch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still have those to open. That's going to be another episode. Man, that was a while ago, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, because the Black Series, like the Force Awakens stuff and the Rogue One stuff came yeah. out in boxed black. Oh, yeah, shit. Look at that. If you looked at that wrong, if there hadn't been a case on it, if it had just been hanging on the wall like that, the bubble would have fallen off. Yeah. Long so time. really, the case is all that was holding that package together. I absolutely love. Oh, and the the number on the Rogue One uh, Stormtrooper is uh, one thirty three. <laughs> so the numbers are going backwards. Yes. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love the uh, Scarif Stormtroopers. Um, of course, I I'm a huge. I mean, anybody that knows me knows I'm a. I love the like, the bad guy army builders, right? So I have a huge my Cobra collection is probably four times the size of my gi joe collection yeah i can testify to that i've seen it he's got he's got joe's but he picks and chooses joe's all the cobras all the cobra all the cobra minions end up in uh, end up in the collection yep. um i'm gonna go after some of the really weird ones this year so um well there's certainly plenty of those oh that's beautiful isn't it? I yeah, love from the paint apps on it. This this the detail is great. It's a great figure. Um, I already have a couple loose, but I see no reason to keep it on the card. I was gonna say you need more. Um, absolutely. Yeah, the um, I like that design. Um, it's one of the first new Imperial personnel that were created in this era of Star Wars, and uh. We've seen them since. Um, they were on that planet where Bill Burr and Boba Fett and Din Djarin were running around in that Imperial facility. Um, we got to see them there, too. Yeah, I love that. I love that design, that, that trooper design. Here we go. Here's, here's one for you. <laughs> oh, boy. So of course, like I said, I'm a bad guy fan. I gotta have all the all. I try and get all of the, all of the like clone commanders, um, specialty, 
like specialty armor stuff um and the bad guys uh and that includes all of the darths so i had to get darth sidious of course oh kick it does he got soft goods robe is it uh yes. oh yeah phantom menace okay vintage collection number 79 jesus christ um wow Jesus, um, that's a lot. It is nice to see the Phantom Menace logo on the vintage collection packaging. Um, it is cool. Um, I'm actually probably going to hang on to some of these cards and scan them in so I have the logos for my custom cards. Oh, yeah, absolutely, because they're in the Star Wars font, and then you don't have to fuck with that part of it. The font is the hardest part, man. So yeah, he comes with uh, his uh, lightsaber that does not have a blade, uh, does have a peg to peg into. I'm assuming he's got somewhere underneath the robes to peg the lightsaber into. Uh, and then yeah, soft goods cloak um, and then like a plastic cloak underneath as well. So this how's is- the, How's the face sculpt? Is it? It's nice. It's kind of it doesn't sit well in the hood, but the, the shocking. Um, yeah, e- the, uh, the, even the six inch line has issues with that sometimes. Um, yeah. but the face. So you can see Ian McDermott in the makeup pretty clearly. Good. It's it's not a, it's not a stretch to to see that it, that's Ian McDermott there. So okay. does he have? He does have a a. Have to really dig for it, but on the belt there is a place for you know, his lightsaber to. Paint. All right, that's cool. Because in Revenge of the Sith, we saw Sidious finally brings out the lightsaber, but the hilt slides out of his robe, like uh, his uh his, the sleeve of his robe. But that is not practical for uh, an action figure. Um, I imagine when and if they ever get around to doing Revenge of the Sith, Darth Sidious, that. Yeah, it'll be stashed on his belt there too. God, that's that's cool. The flowy robe, that's cool. Looks like he's using really nice. Looks like he's steeped in the dark side and just going nuts with it. Yeah, it is. It's a nice figure. I really like the soft goods robe. I have uh, the Emperor Palpatine, which has the plastic robes with the lightning, force lightning coming off his fingertips, which is actually not a bad figure. I mean, there's very little articulation to it, but it's not as cool as the. They did a really good job with the cloak on this. Um, yeah, it's it's tough to get the soft goods in in either scale to get it to sit right, to lay right, to be just the right consistency, and weight to sit properly without being all floppy all over the place or or too thin. So it's uh. So it's uh, opacity is in question. All right. This is something. This is another one um, that I I have the original. Um, this is kind of a reissue, but I'm I'm all right with it. Vintage Collection 194. Um, this is, even though I don't play video games, this is probably one of my favorite, like, subgenres of Star Wars, and that is um, The Force Unleashed. I am a huge oh. fan of uh the the Star Killer. Okay, it's, yeah. Oh, oh, what is that? The Shadow Stormtrooper. So yeah, Shadow Stormtrooper. Nice. Portion least series. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna take it. I was gonna take a guess that it was the Force Unleashed. I was half expecting you to say, uh, uh take a guess which uh, which game it's from. Because I figured it was either that or Knights of the Old Republic. So which also I am a huge fan of there's a yeah because that's what Revan and Malik and Darth Nihil and yeah. right yeah yeah so what's also awesome about this is the uh it has uh translucent pieces in the the right leg uh the abdomen and uh the arms so it's semi-translucent oh. uh, <laughs> we love translucent toys uh, yeah, absolutely the the paint apps on the helmet are a little maybe not as good as they could be, but uh and the joints on mine are kind of wonky. 
but uh, I absolutely love the the like gunmetal stormtrooper because it's it's a very nice gun like shiny gunmetal with the translucent uh, blue. Sweet. Nope. It's gone very well. I don't think either of us have played the Force Unleashed, but I'm well aware of it. Yeah, because like when it came out, you know, I was all up in Wikipedia looking at this stuff. So, oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's a it's a fantastic figure. I've got, like I said, I I was able to get the um multi figure packs, both of the multi figure packs, for a smoking deal. The guy was asking a hundred a piece for him, and I got him for fifty bucks a piece. Uh, when uh, Mark. Wow. Marcus and Dion were here. Um, and I have never, ever, ever seen those packs ever again, ever since. Not on eBay, not at conventions, never seen no, those. No, because for being Toys R Us exclusives, they were, they, um, I, I saw one of those sets at Toys R Us the one time it was the Star Killer set. I never saw the other set with uh, Darth Phobos and what Proxy and whoever else was included in it. I never saw that set, so um, I was glad that I wasn't invested in getting it because, you know, way back when Toys R Us was a thing, um, yeah, usually you could get their exclusives pretty well, but no, the Force, the Force Unleashed was a that was a that was a phenomenon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, JD got me into watching the Clone Wars cartoon i watched most of that while i was on an oil rig off the coast of uh equatorial guinea uh right like i'd watch an episode episode or two every night before i go to bed uh and i got through most of i still need to see the the last season of it yes uh, you do but one of um one of my favorite characters from that uh did show up in the boat of boba fett and they made a decent figure of him finally and that is oh Cad Bane. Cad Bane. Oh. Yeah, nice. In collection 283, which so it's it's a recent release um from last year, but when I saw that they were making a Cad Bane figure, I mean I I I had the original Cad Bane figure. Uh it got torn up for customs. Um, but it was <laughs> it's a pretty common element with us. <laughs> the, <laughs> the I I wasn't a really a big fan of the um the Clone Wars action figures because of the the cartoonishness uh, of the figures themselves. Yeah, so, well, they were stylized. They were supposed to look like the CGI. Exactly, and and I don't see anything wrong with that. It's just no, it ain't my cup of tea. Yeah, uh, um, those years, I had a shitload of the animated style clones, and then I had Anakin, Ahsoka, Obi Wan. Um, but. Uh, later Clone Wars base toys were all the the more photorealistic versions. Like they would, they take the stylization out of it while keeping the aesthetics of it. So, um, yeah, the uh, yeah, I've got I've got a few clones uh, from uh, from there. Uh, yeah, because there was a set from the Bad Batch that I only wanted a couple, so I sent the remainders to Brian. Um, I imagine they're in that pile somewhere. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. I was so damn excited when Cad Bane popped up in the book of Boba Fett what, in two, live action. And Emily's like, what? I'm like, it's Cad Bane. She's like, who's that? <laughs> um, yeah, because, see, here's the thing. When I was growing up, the number one bounty hunter in the galaxy was Boba Fett, okay? We never really saw him do anything, but he was all over the expanded universe. He was in the comic books. He was in the novels. He was everywhere. Everybody knew that Boba Fett was a badass. We just never got to see him do anything before he got chucked into the Sarlacc pit. Well, when the prequels came along, episode two is released. We find out that Boba Fett is a clone of Django Fett, the bounty hunter. And in that movie, we do get to see Django Fett go fisticuffs with Obi-Wan and then later Mace Windu, although it doesn't work out that well for him. Um, 
But we did get to see him with all the gadgets and all the fighting, and we got to see what a bounty hunter fet really could be. And that was definitely, it was absolutely clear that they were channeling what had uh, had uh, had always been conjured up about Boba Fett in that fight. So that was awesome. So he replaced Boba Fett as my favorite character. But then the Clone Wars came along. Cad Bane was introduced. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I think Jango Fett actually has competition for my favorite. So when he popped up in the book of Boba Fett, my firstborn child and I were both watching it. But I don't know which of us yelled louder when we're like, yes! So. And as promised, uh, I did have the figure in my collection. The card was damaged. Uh, I got a lot of these from Amazon. Amazon is a good place to get um, the vintage collection cheap, but it is not a good place to get them if you want them to stay on the card. Because yeah. every figure I've gotten from Amazon has come damaged. Uh, vintage collection, 159 Sith Jet Trooper. Fuck yes. Yeah. Um, we barely saw them in the Rise of Skywalker. I'm oh hell. We barely saw anything in the Rise of Skywalker. That movie jumped around all over the place. But yeah, um Red Stormtroopers, sweet. Red Jetpack Stormtroopers, sweeter. Um, so uh again, say what you will about those movies, but the first order and then later the final order. Boy, did they have some sweet troops! Yeah, that that I I will, I will not argue that point. I am not not a a big fan of the last two Star Wars movies, but uh, I am a fan of the stormtroopers that were all of the troopers really that were in those movies. Yeah, um, the first order redesigns of the stormtroopers I thought were wildly successful. Um, I prefer First Order Stormtroopers over the Imperial Stormtroopers. I like the I like the sleekness of the armor. Um but uh the red like the all red Sith troopers, I'm like, oh that's just cool. That like that just kicks ass to look at. So uh the pistol is supposed to peg into the leg. Mine does not stay in, so it's going in the tub so I don't lose it. Um, but there is the, oh yeah, look at that. That is so cool. He's got a logo tampo on his, uh, chest armor there. And then the, the jet pack. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that, I don't know what that logo signifies. I mean, I do know it's something to do with the Sith because, um, they were dedicated, uh, to service of the Sith, uh, with the, Mm-hmm. Reborn, Reba, re, whatever the hell he was, Palpatine in that movie, but whatever, they look cool. So, absolutely. All right, let's see what else we got back here. Let me find something older. Here we go. Uh, one of my uh, original favorite troopers, aside from the scout trooper from the original trilogy, uh, vintage collection number sixty-five. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I've made several customs of this uh, particular uh, trooper, uh, including a female one. I, I would like to go back and revisit the female one at some point in time because uh, I think I could do a better job now. Uh, it is unpunched, and I'm going to fucking open it, and that is the TIE Fighter pilot. Oh, the- sweet. Yeah. All right. That's cool. So, um, you- I, Yeah, I've always liked the TIE Fighter pilot designs. Uh, the only one, the only thing I don't like about this is it still has the T crotch. It's old enough to still have the T crotch. So, damn, uh, dude. Um, yeah. well, you did say it was like number what fifty seven or something. So, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, because they didn't switch to the ball, the ball socket hips until later. Um, I mean, they did on some of the early vintage stuff. It yeah. was character dependent, but like the troopers and stuff didn't. Um. I mean, I get the logic, but because for the most part, if you're buying the TIE Fighter pilot, you're probably going to sit them inside the ship, but um, they've since expanded it, because I think the last TIE Fighter pilot, they had the ball hips, because the fact is, sometimes you want to have ventures of your troopers, 
outside of their ships, like yeah. if they're deployed elsewhere or well, and that's one of the urgency. things that don't about the the X wing fighter, the X wing pilot buck right now is there is only one that has the ball joints, and that's the Luke Skywalker. Although there, it's rumored that they're going to re release that figure this year. I want it for a custom. Um, I won't disclose what I I'm going to do with that just yet. Um, but uh, you know, the I'm, Luke figure is probably decent. But the fact is, Mark Hamill's not that tall. So if it's accurate, it's it does for what I need it for. It doesn't have it, right? Not for your custom, but like anybody, because I've seen like people that do a lot of head swaps. And they'll take them, and the problem is they're all just a uniform size. When characters like Biggs were taller, Red yeah. Leader, Gold Leader, they were all taller. So oh, they good. need oh, wow. they need to make another one of those characters with ball jointed hips so oh shit yeah i didn't know it had a removable helmet oh that's cool yeah it's a, a Django fett head so it's oh, a, that's cool it's a clone back yeah, i love that because some so of the clones cool. they were still being used well into the imperial era um i mean yeah. they had the they had the conscripts and they had the volunteers but oh it's shiny and yeah. cool yeah, look at that menacing bastard. And I noticed one of the the one TIE fighter I don't have in my collection right now is I don't have a TIE Advanced. I don't have Darth Vader's TIE fighter in my collection. Uh, when did they even make the last one? I mean, I know there was one in the Power of the Force 2 stuff. line, but... um, So, I'm surprised they haven't made another one of those. I know, I was just trying to think the last time that I, I've seen that, because one of the... uh trailers to one of the the uh force unleashed video games there's a descent of the tie advanced in front of star killer and vader is standing on top of the tie fighter with the lit lit lightsaber and i'm like that is badass <laughs> I'm gonna recreate that in my custom or in my display room but i don't have a tie advanced um yeah the uh there's a there anybody Anybody who's a Vader fan knows that he's very dramatic sometimes. Big fan of looking badass and relaxed while his cape and his and, and the undercloak are blowing in the wind and shit. And I have seen that clip where he's standing on top of the TIE fighter. I'm like, that is the most Vader shit ever. And I'm kind of surprised that they didn't do a new TIE X1 for that. Because that seems like a weird oversight. Because they've done the Interceptor a bunch of times. Yeah. They've done the TIE Bomber. Yep. They've done the standard TIE Fighter. Yep. Eight, 15 times. I don't know. But put out a new TIE Advanced X1. Because you know what? They didn't put out that one. Or the Outlander TIE that Moff Gideon had. Where it had the, the, the wings that folded down. Yeah. yeah, they haven't done that one either yet. And I'm kind of surprised. Right. I got... This is going to be kind of a throwback to the 30th anniversary figures that we were talking about earlier. Do you remember that I had one particular figure that I would never pass up if I saw it in the store? I had a fetish for buying that particular figure from the 30th anniversary Army Builder. Do you remember? Wait, the Scuba Clone? No, that was good. Oh, oh, no, you're right. That was even older. Um. Oh, the airborne troopers, right? No, sand trooper. Oh, right. Oh, the yeah. All right. You mean the the storm trooper with the pauldron on? Okay, pauldron in the backpack and the the uh the big gun. Uh, yeah, it always drove me nuts. They called them the sand troopers because really all they actually were they're officers. They're storm trooper yeah. officers. I. Um, Never passed one of those. Up. Oh, you're right. You didn't. Yeah, you had a bunch of them. In fact, I think I sent you one at some point. Um, you did. Um, yeah, because I, I think in my collection right now. Yeah, because they, they put out the different colors, and I think there was one you couldn't get, but I had it, yes. or I could get it, so I sent it to you. Yeah, the white one. Is yeah, that's on display in my collection right now. Vintage collection number fourteen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, look at that. 
Oh yeah, it's got the it's got the uh the 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 art. The photo on the card is from the special edition. Yes. Of Star Wars. Sweet. Yep. With the white paldron. All right, yeah. Yep, that's cool. Yeah, that might be the one I picked up for you. Um yeah, because there was a time when stores here had stuff. Not anymore, but they used to. Right. Um, um yeah, I I probably bought 40 of these from the 30th anniversary line and just used the shit out of the parts for customs back in the day. Yeah, because I remember there were a few troopers like that because the the right. airborne clone this troopers, is, you yeah. loved those figures. Oh shit, look at that. Yeah. Uh, this is the only version of this figure that comes with this particular weapon that I that I know of. And uh I, yeah, because that I, weapon was uh, not well seen in the movie. Only only one of the ranks carried those, so that's pretty cool. Um, and a heavy blaster rifle too. Okay, which, yeah, that is the one the much more commonly of, associated with those guys. I used the fuck out of that weapon for Star Wars customs over the years. Um yeah, I remember the airborne clones and oh remember the, the Shadow Utapau clone? Yeah, Shadow Oh, Udupau. I love that one. I, I bought a shit ton of was the Galactic Marines. Well, you and I were both army building those. You used them for customs. I just had a shitload of Galactic Marines. Oh shit, yeah, look at that. So he's got the T crops then, right? Uh no, he does not. Okay, so he's based on that first stormtrooper that had the ball jointed hips. All right, that's cool. So, yeah, that is vintage collection number 14. It's probably the oldest one I've got in my collection. And it doesn't have any weathering on it. That's how you know it. So, because I think I think subsequent releases all, all use that weird dirt spray up that is uh, the, 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 the success of that tends to be a little janky. Uh, here's another... Uh, like ancillary character that everybody from the comics that everybody's like saw him for one split second in the Phantom Menace. They're like, oh, look at that. That's Quinlan Voss. Quinlan Voss. Nice. Number 85, unpunched card. And I'm going to open it. Oh, that's right. In the Phantom Menace packaging. Because he was with that line. That came, oh, fuck yeah. Unpunched card, man. Yeah, if you are a mint inbox collector, you are probably crying in your beer tonight. And you know what? I don't feel it all bad for you. <clears throat> Open your damn doors. I'm just saying. <clears throat> so I'm not telling everybody what they should do, but I just figure if you're if if you're if you're gonna be a mint on card collector, at least get one to open at the same time because some of these things are just too cool not to open. They they really are. <clears throat> and I didn't have that Quinlan Voss, but uh because I had the two previous versions. There was the Clone Wars version and the comic pack version, which I did have. I had the comic pack version. I don't know what happened to that. It's here somewhere, I think. Um yeah, because uh yeah, he was included in with uh it was a Dev Ronnie in character that I can't that I from the expanded universe I can't remember the name of, but uh and this this figure uh is so much better than that one. I would I imagine. Yeah, same, that one had limited head sculpt, but, Yeah, I think it's the same head sculpt, but they did so much better with the figure on than that one. So it does come with the blaster, fits in his uh holster, the unlit lightsaber does plug into the belt. And then green lightsaber. Uh, I'm just, I'm not going to stick it in his hand right now because I'm just, he's going to go in the, the tub. So I'm just going to stick him in the tub. But, uh, and then, you know, what would Quinlan Voss be without? His other one, Ayla Secura. Nice. This is not the new one. They had a new one come out just recently. Yeah. Vintage uh, collection number 58. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I see the Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, because the later one that was released was based on the Clone Wars micro series, but it was the photorealistic sculpt. But, all right, so that's the Revenge of the Sith version. This nice. is the Revenge of the Sith version. 
vintage nice. collection number 58 yep um and i i uh have actually met her uh at a convention in uh dallas or, ellen yes yeah i understand she's nice to talk to um uh, yeah she was she was fantastic she's uh i've got an uh one of my i've got a figure autographed by her not one of my customs obviously because that was way before i was carding my customs but um i do have a, a figure autographed by her um yeah uh ayla secura she was created for by dark horse for the comic books but she was one of those characters that would come along that that george lucas took a shine to um so she ended up in she ended up on screen in the attack of the clones and then she had a bigger and more tragic role in revenge of the Sith. um yeah lucas didn't often bring things in from the expanded media but uh quinlan voss was actually created for the comics but there was a character on screen in the background of phantom menace that looked enough like him that they sort of retconned it to say, yeah, that was Quinlan Voss. And in, in, that's uh, the picture that was on that card that we did that. Right. I just... Yeah. Where he's sitting at the table in Los Espa, but yeah. yeah, his Padawan. Um, yeah, she, yeah, she went in there too. Um, yeah. Cause they both appeared on the Clone War series in the, Oh fuck. Yeah. Oh, she's using the force. Sweet. And it's um, a super nice soft goods Cape. This is a beautiful figure. Uh, um, lightsaber as well plugs into the belt uh so uh, yeah, vintage collection number 58 that is this is not the new one that that came out a couple months ago this is this is the this is one of the old yeah ones. both characters were in the movie or in the clone wars but never in the same episode which is kind of weird um that they never got around to doing one where they showed up together but whatever they had a huge role in the dark horse comics if you've never read them you should they're good um you won't uh let's see here um trying to think of a good quote um <laughs> All I can think of is Vader, release him. Oh, fuck yeah. Nice. Image collection number 98, Grand Moff Tarkin, uh, who did most of his parts in fuzzy bunny, bunny slippers because the yeah. boots were so uncomfortable. Yeah, um, Peter Cushing was a very distinguished actor. Shakespeare, like 50-year movie career. But Swing. yeah, the uh, the oh, leather know. on the imperial boots, uh, yeah, they didn't fit his feet properly, so he was always shot from the waist up because yes, he was wearing. Uh, one of the original on the mouth plates too. Oh, that's cool. I didn't Does know. Have, did, huh? I didn't know he came with that. I couldn't see it in the packaging. Do it's, the wheels move? They do. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, cool. I didn't know he came with that. It's it's well enough behind his legs, and I've never really looked at the figure well enough. That's but cool. Soft goods, uh, cape there or tunic. And oh yeah, it looks like Peter Cushing, so that's oh, yeah. cool. They did a fantastic job on the head sculpt on that. Um, and they got the the color of his uniform right. Sometimes the imperial officers come out in because on screen it's like a gray. In, in most shots it looks green, but sometimes they look a little gray. But most of the toys come out and they're gray for reasons whatever but yeah i'm glad that tarkin's agreed because that's how he should be um tech of the clones another one that just came out recently this is not that one this is vintage collection number 51 barazofi nice um uh yeah uh because barazofi luminar on dually ayla secura i think kiadi mundi and General Grievous were all released in the micro series packaging. Uh, they're all, I mean, they're all different figures, but yeah. So you're opening the original version. Yeah. You didn't need the, you didn't need the new one ones because you had those. So yeah. Although um, some of the newer ones do have some, some improvements on them. Like the, the, the Darth Ravon, uh, the newer Darth Ravon looks 
like they did some really nice improvements to it. Uh, I don't have it yet. I think I've got it pre-ordered somewhere. Um, but some of them are just like straight reissues. Uh, I'm trying to think of like the most glaring one and it just like escaped me. It just like slipped my mind just right now, but, um, we're old. It happens. Yeah, pretty much. So lightsaber plugs into the, her unlit lightsaber plugs in soft goods, cape or, uh, skirt. Uh, the cloak is the hard plastic still. Um, oh, you know what? I think I have that figure too. Um, yeah, I think she's in my. I think she's in the container downstairs. Yeah, I've okay. got the figure. I forgot about it. And this is why I have. I just dropped her lightsaber, so <laughs> this is why I have uh, tub set aside. Because probably what I'm going to do is glue those lightsabers in place so they don't get lost. No, I would. That's the first thing I'd do. I'd just sit there and I'd fuck with the glue. Yes, I would. Um, this is gonna be a mess to clean up. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is one that's gonna make a lot of people cry for sure. <laughs> All right, sweet. <laughs> Vintage clutch at number thirty-four. One of JD's Four. favorite characters, Django Fett. Oh fuck yeah. Um. Oh fuck yeah. So yeah, there's some some really old figures in this. Man, yeah, I'm gonna have to spend all day cleaning up tomorrow. Oh yeah, he's got the poncho. Sweet. Yep. Um. It looks like it's pretty much still the. Uh, is that the was that the 30th anniversary line where that first came out? Or was that uh honestly they put out a whole lot of toys over the years and I don't know, but it's uh you can never go wrong with a Django Fett figure. Um this is kind of uh like their first attempt at the deluxe style figure because it has the poncho, uh the poncho's removable, it has the full body armor underneath, um, the helmet is removable. Uh, at least I thought it was. Yeah, helmets removable, and uh, it'd be weird if Django Fett came out that didn't have a removable helmet, considering how many times he took it off in the movie. Um, it also comes with, uh, and this is the only only figure that I've ever seen it, uh, seen this particular accessory come with. It comes with the headset that he was wearing when he was flying. Oh, one that's cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, that is cool. The backpack uh, has a removable. This is one of the first ones with the removable rocket and the flame effect. So it, it does just sit in there. All right. So it's not spring loaded. You can't choke and die on it like that kid. With choke, and on this. Black. No, no, you can choke and die. Choke and die on this just fine. Yeah, uh, but you're not going to shoot it. You're not going to shoot it at your, you know, at your, um, yeah, at your three year old kid. Um, or, and then, uh, 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 yeah, this... just don't let it fall out. The dogs will get it. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Alice will and, eat it. And then um, the, the two skeleton handle blasters. That he all right. Used. So, uh, I'm he's got the holsters, I'm guessing. He does, and they're they're not the ones that are sculpted to the legs. So it's it's the uh, oh, okay. The, so it's the whole separate piece that yeah, one of the original cool. Django Fets had both holsters, but they were sculpted to the legs. Uh, that like, is cool. I love that it comes with the with the pilot heads. That is so. That is such a cool detail. Yeah, uh, and like I said, I don't I don't know that I have seen another one of the figures that comes with this. And even the new like deluxe Django Fett, I'm pretty sure is this figure. Um, and I and it comes with a bunch of stuff. And I'm not even sure it comes with all the of Black them. Series Django Fett doesn't come with that either. So, um. That is cool. So, yep, there is Django Fett. I told Brian, the only thing that sucks is that I can't, is that I'm not there visiting to help him open these toys. Um, 
Uh, but I like keeping him company while he does this. I like seeing toys being open. Fun. Um, and yeah, I don't, I just simply don't have anything to open, which is fine because I figure Brian's got a lot to open. Uh oh, what'd you find? Uh, this one is super hard to find. I don't, I don't remember how I got a hold of this one. Rogue One Imperial Assault Tank Driver. Shit. Yeah, the tank oh, drivers yeah. were impossible to find. Vintage Collection 126. Nice. Uh, you have the tank, right? I do. Yeah, because that was like discounted for like some ridiculous price on Amazon, right? Yeah, yeah I, I got it. I was going to customize it. And when I got it, I'm like, this thing is fucking amazing. I love it. Not, but yeah, the, the basically... There wasn't anything you were going to customize on it that would have improved it. No. Hi, Emily. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Um, I told Brian I wish I was there to help him open the toys, but, you know. Wow, that's fair, yeah. Um, I'm surprised you're not down helping him going through all this stuff. I think you, I think it would be fun. And you might find something you could take to work with you to join Desk Rat. That's what I'm worried about. That's probably ah, true. fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the uh, Impor uh, Imperial Take Drive. Yeah, I'll be up in a, a couple minutes. Uh, dinner's here. We're having pizza for dinner. So I was going to say, is part one about to be over? Uh, um, part probably is going to be over here pretty soon. Oh, that is so cool looking. Oh, I love the design of that. Oh, yeah. Of that armor. Um, yeah, that, that one was super hard to get. I think, I I don't remember the last time I saw one. Of was these. it an exclusive or was it just short packed? They're just short packed. Okay. Um, they're, they're super hard to get. They're, people are asking stupid prices for it. And Oh, know. are they? Yeah, that does happen. Yeah. Um, um, so you got it when it was like first run and I'm surprised they haven't. I paid a premium for that. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't re-released it. Honestly, they yeah. don't re-release a ton of vintage collection figures, but there are some. And that kind of seems like one that is, would have made sense to, you know, but whatever. Um, I don't work for Hasbro. Uh, none of us do. Things might make more sense if, we did, but oh, yeah. whatever. Um, oh, uh, this would be a good one to kind of end it off on tonight. And since we're open in figures, vintage collection 179, this is the way. Oh, fuck. Yes. The armor. Oh, shit. Yes. I've not met her, but I've seen her at a couple of conventions. That I've I follow her on Facebook. She's always posting videos from conventions. Yeah. She she is so enthusiastic yeah. about the brand support. Honestly, she's one of those people that she could be like a brand ambassador. She is she goes to so many conventions. I've she's seen her so interactive with the out. fans. Yeah. She's you know, she shoots videos, you know, just anything like crazy videos like she's i saw a video i will find it and i will send it to brian so he can link it she wore her armor or costume and she stood in a crowd with a bunch of other cosplayers cosplaying as herself before she took the helmet off and the people went nuts oh. um yeah she she was like waiting in an autograph or was she in her own autograph line? Because they said she was away for a little bit. And yeah, she came out in her screen used costume. And uh, yeah, people went nuts. So um, yeah, she's a, she's an advocate for the fans too, because uh, there's a kid. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at that. This is the oh, way. Yeah, oh yeah. That, that, uh, oh, you know, do the, uh, the, the tongs they don't open do they okay um they're pretty flimsy because yeah, you just yeah want to see her swing that thing and hit a stormtrooper in the face with it breaking their helmets awesome 
Yep. Um. So the fur on the coat, that's actual fur, right? No, it's plastic. Skull. Is it plastic? Okay. Um. But yeah, she's uh she's advocating right now for there's a there's a fan, I think he's eight. He's got cancer, he's in the hospice care, but she's been posting about him, like tributes to him, because uh-huh. like he was a big fan. So uh yeah, Emily Swallow, she's real good with the fans. And I think uh I'm glad she's enthusiastic about the armorer because that's a great character. Um I one of those characters I didn't realize Star Wars needed. And uh, yeah, she's a uh, she's one of the best of the Mandos, in my opinion. And I was she the first the first character to say this is the way I think she was. She was. Fuck yes. Um. All right. I think we're gonna call it there because it's dinner time for me, and uh, we still have a metric fuck ton of figures to go through. So sweet. Wait, I want to see the updated pile. Oh, it's a mess now. I I just because I've been digging through it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. It looks so. Oh, oh my god, dude! I think even I underestimated how many how many figures were there to open. Holy uh, shit! I, on this episode, we opened one, two, three, four, five. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen 14, 15, 16 figures. God damn. And we've got so many more to go. Yeah, um, absolutely. I think this is going to be uh, a pretty interesting thing. Um, So, yeah. Well, and it gives us a chance to talk Star Wars because we don't always yeah. get to. So, so. It is, yeah, I was just going to say that's something that we haven't done on General Geekery for a long, long time. Um, which the galaxy far, far away. And I was going to say, why the fuck don't we talk about it? Oh, GI Joe. That's why. Yeah. Um, so, um, kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to, uh, for, for like the toys right now. Cause the, the vintage collection, star Wars black. I mean, you, you get the star Wars black stuff. If it catches your eye, I get the vintage collection. If it catches my eye, it just but, it, yeah we're not complete as for it so no, not at and all that, it's not constant releases so right. um very sporadic but so, uh yeah everybody thanks for listening come back for part two because this is fun yeah so as always please do that fun social media stuff like share subscribe comment below what was your favorite figure that you saw open tonight are there any that you're hoping that are in the collection that i am have not shown and uh, that you'd like to see opened and it might be in there. Who knows? I've got a pretty extensive collection uh, and stay tuned. Cause part two will be coming pretty soon. We want to get these. Uh, I want to get these done. Cause I want to get these displayed. So yeah, the sooner, the sooner that these, this show gets done, the sooner I can get my, my figures uh, up on the display and my room back in order, which will make my wife happy. So. I was going to say, and then that will be the way. That um, would be but so, all right, everybody, may the force be with you. May the force be with you, and good night. <laughs>